Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you with another Jeans and Boots video. Today we have the Cinch Men's Relaxed Fit White Label Performance Denim Jean and we're going to try them out with eight different kinds of cowboy boots. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. I got on the cinch white label jeans right now, but before we go any further, we gotta see how these are made. Let's get into the rundown. These cinch white label jeans are the dark stone wash color. They're made of 10.9 ounce performance stretch denim, which is 100% cotton. It doesn't come up too high on the hips if that's what you were worried about with a mid rise. It's also a relaxed fit and straight leg opening. They're made in Mexico and they come in at $79.99 at cinchjeans.com. Next up, I'm gonna try these jeans with eight cowboy boots, all with different toe shapes, starting with the most round to the most square. But first, I wanna tell you about yeehawcowboy.com. Yeehawcowboy.com is an online Western wear store where you can find some of your favorite big brands and Yeehaw Cowboy's own line of exotic boots. One of the coolest things about it is that you can actually save 10% on your order when you use my promo code at checkout. And 10% can go a long ways on some of these boots. Find my most recent promo code because it changes at jeremiahcraig.com slash promo codes. Now, let's get into these cinch jeans. All right, let's kick things off with a Roper boot. This is the Boulet 9381, and I think it looks great. This is a great start. It's got a little bit of a lower heel. I was pretty skeptical when I ordered the white label from Cinch because it is a relaxed fit. Since I'm a skinny dude, relaxed fit usually is way too baggy for me. But here, I just feel comfortable. Like there's a lot of space in here, but it doesn't feel like any area is sagging more than it should. Like it just feels the equivalent comfort and space everywhere. So I feel like this is a good look right now, especially with the wider toe. And we will see where it goes from here. I'm kind of worried about some of the more pointier or rounder toes because of this baggy relaxed look, but it may work, we'll find out. We gotta get there, but let's bring it a little bit more cowboy boot and try it with a U-toe. All right, here we have a U-toe from Hondo with a two inch heel, so this is definitely more cowboy boot. It comes up 14 inches and uh, I think this looks good too, but I'm already sensing that that jean is sort of taking away from the boot. The thing with relaxed fit jeans is that they make your feet look smaller. So many of you don't want that uh, and I don't blame you. And here, I feel like my feet look a little bit smaller than they actually are. So it's a comfortable fit. I actually chose the 3234 which is my true size. I don't wanna stack these because if I stacked a relaxed fit, it would look sloppy. In fact, some of the pictures on cinchjeans.com look sloppy because they're trying to stack a relaxed fit. And I don't, I don't like that, that look. All right, here is a medium round toe. This is a Dan Post Milwaukee boot. You can get this one at yeehawcowboy.com for 10% off with my code. And I'm kind of getting that sense where it's just a little bit weird with the relaxed fit jeans, at least on me because I have narrow feet. So if you have wider feet, it might work a little bit better for you, but I kind of feel like it's a little bit of an awkward look for me. The good thing about it though, is that these Dan Post Milwaukee's have a really wide shaft. So a lot of times I can't wear these with a lot of jeans because the top will show through the jeans and it looks really weird. But with a relaxed fit, you don't have that problem at all. So if you're really, really trying to hide the tops of your boots so that they don't show through your jeans, a relaxed fit is a great option as I'm noticing right now. Next, let's try it with an even rounder boot, the J-Toe. All right, here we have the cinch white label jeans with a J-toe. This is a water buffalo calf boot by BNV Boots. And if you are liking any of these boots and want to learn more about them, there are links to each one of them. They all have their own videos in the description. You can binge. 
Here with this J toe, I'm getting the same thing that I was with the R toe. It's kind of sort of taking over and making my foot look a lot smaller and it's hiding the boot too. Like this is a boot that I really like to, um, to sh kind of show off and sort of get that heel out there in the world. But uh, the way that the jeans are kind of sliding over the heel and not letting it show is, uh, it isn't really the best look ever. Also because of this white stitching that is used on the jeans, it draws a lot of attention to the jeans rather than the boots. So that's something to know. If you have a boot that you really want to show off, I don't know if this would work unless your boots were way, way crazy. Like I got a pair of bone white lizard Tony Llamas that I feel would go great with this, even though it is an Arto, just because it will completely stand out and kind of match that white stitching. But I'm not really liking this look. Let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, here we have a Cayman Tail Black Cherry Snip Toe Boot from Yeehaw Cowboy. Again, you can get this one for 10% off when you use my code at yeehawcowboy.com. And I kind of like this look, you know? This Snip Toe comes out a little bit further than a lot of others. It comes out a little bit further than the J Toe. So I feel like this is working very well, this pairing. Um, I kind of like it. The jeans are falling a little bit more. I feel like it's kind of a long 32, 34, just a little bit, just a little bit. So it's kind of getting that start to the stack as you can kind of see here. I wouldn't call it a stack at all, but it definitely comes down over the heels a little bit more than some other 32, 34s that I have in my closet. This is definitely sort of a nice casual look for sure. Um, this is a higher end jean coming in at pretty much $80 anyways. And of course, wearing it with an exotic does work. So those sort of price tags do go well together here. All right, this is a Boulet 8502 Cayman belly boot with the French toe. And I kind of like this look. You know, we're getting into that territory where it's a little bit more square. In fact, a lot of the modern square toes that you see out there are just a wide French toe. So you have that sort of slope towards the end, which makes up a lot of the wide squares that we see today. So I'm guessing that this is gonna work great with wide square toes, just because it's a wider jean to begin with. I like this look. We're getting to that wide square area, but before we do, we gotta try it with a narrow square toe. Here we have a dirty area Ventec Ultra boot with a narrow square toe and a two inch heel. Not gonna apologize for it being dirty because this boot is just one of those that looks better when it's dirty. And I think that this is working. You know, we're getting into that square toe territory where the relaxed fit just excels because the end of that toe is just getting a little bit wider to fit the needs of this relaxed fit. So square toe, jean, 100%. Now we got to test it with the wide square. Okay, these are Stetson JBS lizard boot with the wide square toe and the double stitched. Well, you got a stockman heel here. You can also get these at yeehawcowboy.com and that code goes a long ways on these. Heads up, but this works. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner right here. Relaxed fit jeans just look great with the square toes, I think. Maybe making my foot look a little bit smaller, but on some of the wider, square toes than this because they do get a little bit more wide. This is just like the best wide square toe that I've seen. Um, I think this still works. This seems to me obvious, the gene for square toes. <laughs> All of those round toes, except for maybe the boule at the beginning, um, it just was meh. It's just like whatever. It didn't work with the round toes. But when we started on the latter half of this video and started slipping those square toes in, man, this jean excels. What do you guys think of these cinch white label relaxed fit jeans? Let me know down in the comments, what were your favorite pairings? Are you like, no man, it's not working with the square toes either or dead on, dead on. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. You guys are the best and you guys keep this channel going. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and I'll see you next time, peace.
When it comes to the head square toe fit That cinch white label jean don't quit Cinch your boys and keep it real If you like square toes you'll like how these feel yeah. If you're still in the mood to watch some more jeans video I got another one up here Or I got a video down here about my latest album Life is for taking chances don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Peace. Have a good one.